Welcome to the 1738 News. I am your anchor, Luis Macias, and to the right of me we have our live action reporter, Kendra Eichten. Good morning, everyone. And then to the left of me we have our hip hop and sport analyst, Jonte Ware. What it do, gang? And this is your 1738 hip hop news. This is Dorian Deer from the SMSU football field. How you doing, Dorian? What's up? How you doing? All right, I'm just gonna ask you a few questions about uh, some hip hop, and um, yeah, here we go. Uh, how is your hip hop music at home different from the hip hop music you listen to uh, when you pump up for your sport? Um, I guess at home hip hop, I mean, it's more like relax and chill, like deep, deep, like deep thoughts, and you know, at school when we prepare, it's probably like more like get loud, crunk music, like you know, the boost of agility going in. So, yeah. What about uh, how has your hip hop taste changed from high school to now? Um, hip hop changed over time. So, um, I guess I still kind of listen to the same music, but you know, you have artists like Young Thug and stuff like that that we, that was not in high school that have a different variety of music that I listen to. So, um, like today's music, I listen to like um, Kevin Gates, Young Thug, but um, I still listen to like like '90s rap like Tupac and N.W.A. and stuff like that because those was like my favorite rap when I was growing up. And my daddy used to listen to so. I still listen to those type of rappers. Uh, how do you think hip hop has changed from back then when they used to be more lyrical and about the environment that they live in and stuff like to, uh, back then versus now? Do you think it's more about, about like the glitz and glam and the materialistic stuff? Um, I definitely think it's like more materialistic now. Like, like oh. I'm wearing Gucci bandana type stuff like that, but I think uh, like back in the 80s, 90s, it was more like telling a story about like the struggle that was going through, and I think it's just more different now. And that's why like people think the the rap game like like decreased, like it went downhill. Uh, so I think like back in the 90s, it was more about storytelling and about the struggles. All right, this has been Jonte Ware reporting here with Dorian Deer from the SMSU football field. Thanks for letting me interview you, Dorian. Yeah, good looking. Hey everyone, Kendra Eichten here reporting with Grace. Um, Grace, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for letting me interview you. Oh, it is my pleasure. <laughs> uh, I was just ask you, what is your favorite thing about hip hop? Um, my favorite thing about hip hop would probably be just the music and just the, I don't know, there's just like so much to it. You get mm -hmm. different beats, you get different words, you get just a different rhythm with uh, different types of artists as well and everything. So there's like a sense of freedom in the hip hop music that you can pretty much do anything with it. You know what I mean? You can yeah. clean the dishes with it. You can just <laughs> dance and just enjoy, have a good time and such. Exactly. But yeah. Um, what would you say is the purpose of hip hop? Um, I don't know, just with my first description, I feel like it's just to have a good time with uh, people with just even sometimes just even helps you to kind of get through a hard time. Um, depending on what time that is. Sometimes you just need to dance off the F that you just got in your reports or something like that, you know, different things like that. So it's it's used for different types of therapy, I would say, um, that everybody kind of just faces through the day. Yeah. How about what or who is your favorite hip hop artist? Ooh. Tough that's, one? That's, that's rough, that's rough. Uh -huh. um, if you had to choose, if you had to choose anyone. I had to choose, I'm gonna do two. Okay. I love, um, I'm just going to be typical, I like my Beyonce, all right, I ain't going to lie, she got, <laughs> she got amazing vocals and she got some good music, um, and in some of the music that she has, there's like some really good um, messages that she has mm -hmm. through those, and I like, um, I'm going to go typical again, Chris okay. Brown, I love Chris Brown, it's nice chocolate, you know, and everything <laughs> like that good music as well too and um, he just kind of is more relatable as mm -hmm. well so yeah cool. well thank you Grace so much for being here I really appreciate it oh you're welcome it was my pleasure and now back to you Louis I have Christian Artiga here um, I'm just gonna ask you a couple questions about hip-hop in general is if that's fine with you um, what does hip-hop mean to you uh, that it means uh, and I'll you said that beat that beat that to call it to um, are you an athlete on campus here? No, I am not. So when you're listening to hip-hop, do you, do you do any activities that get you kind of in the mood to do them with hip-hop, or do you just use, like, different means of getting, like, what, 
what do you like to do that gets you like uh, hyped up? Uh, I usually work out. I listen to a lot of hip hop during all the workouts. Uh, high beat is what keeps me like, going to my workouts. Okay. okay. Um, do you have any specific like artists or anyone you like to listen to while you're lifting or when you're not lifting? Um, actually, I, I don't really pay attention to the lyrics. Anything that has the like legit beat is what I like to listen to. Okay. Are you a student here on campus? Yes, I am. Okay. Do you uh, do you listen to a lot of hip hop when you're uh, what, what do they say uh, turning up? Uh, yeah, every once in a while, yes. Okay, what do you what do you like to listen uh, listen to when you're uh, when you guys do the turn up? Um, <laughs> uh, actually, the group of friends I hang out with, we listen to country, anything around, anything uh, we play, anything. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, Christian. Thanks. It was a pleasure. Thank you for doing this interview. And sounds good. Back to you, Luis. We have an important interview happening right now. Live on the field, we have Sean Jensen. Sean. Hey, this is Sean Jensen, a professional cameraman, sometimes a weatherman. Right now I'm a reporter. I'm here with Kevin Rubin. Kevin Rubin and just Kevin. But I'm here to ask him about a little bit of hip hop. So what does hip hop mean to you? Uh, hip hop to me is a uh, expression. Uh, uh, getting off right chest right there. What what kind of hip hop did you listen to growing up? Uh, growing up, I mean it many types of hip hop I guess. Uh, just uh main thing my dad's mainstream hip hop. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, you playing sports here? Football. Football. What kind of what kind of hip hop do you listen to pregame? Uh, it gets pretty wild pregame. Uh, anything upbeat. Um, something about hitting somebody or hurt. Uh, some some physical. Some violent for a game. It makes sense. Um, what's your favorite hip hop artist right now? Uh, favorite right now. I like Drake. Well, you heard it here from Kevin. Uh, Sean out, Luis back to you. Hello, it's Luis again, live action reporting. Here we have. I'm me. And we're just here to ask a couple questions about hip hop and hip hop music. And we were just discussing before, you guys don't listen to hip hop very often, do you? No. Um, so, what do you think of hip hop, even though you don't listen to it very much? It's an okay genre. It's not my favorite. Okay, okay. Same, I definitely think it's like good, it's just not something I listen to often. Why is that? Um, it's just not a genre of music I enjoy that much. Okay, what about you? Uh, it's too upbeat for everyday, like okay. every so often I'll listen to it. Not what, do you, what do you listen to? Um, a lot of country, some punk rock, some hard rock. Okay, okay. Um, do you ever notice when hip hop uh, collaborates with those genres of music, do you think that it, it's ruining those types of music or no. is it just helping out? It's music. Okay. What music do you listen to? I listen to a lot of rock. Rock? Like uh, alternative, punk, 80s, or um, hair? Alternative. Okay, have you ever had the chance to listen to uh, Run DMC's and Aerosmith's uh, Walk This Way? Yes. What did you think of that? Really good. Really good? And they, yep. did you think that it was an enhancement for both musics crossing over? Definitely. Definitely? Yeah. And that's all the questions I have for both of you. Thank you so much. Back to you, Luis. And that wraps up your 1738 morning news. Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your morning.